hello welcome back to my channel that princess things in these html tutorials we have seen many things up till now example html basics uh, to html tables and links and many things we have seen till now if you didn't watch those videos go back to uh, our website and our channel go through those playlists and watch those videos Today all about we are going to deal about HTML lists. List HTML lists are uh, allows us uh, web developers to uh, group a set of related items. For example, in, we have a different list items. Like uh, in many things, so we have a many list uh, list type of items. So how to place those list type of items in a web page by using this HTML list? Uh, it will allows the to look your HTML pages in a ordered form, like uh, without any clumsiness or anything. By using this HTML list, we can make our look our website good and organized. So HTML uh, list allows the web developers to set a group of related items in a list. Related items will be uh, gathered at a place and forms a list. So this type of uh, list can help the user to identify the things properly and correctly. So uh, these are HTML list are of two types. One is the unordered list and there is the ordered list. Unordered list is nothing but uh, without any order, just uh, giving a symbol uh, to make the list. Like uh, here dot items are there. Uh, items are prescribed by using this dot. And order list will be in ordered form like uh, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. You can observe here the examples and difference between the order list and order unordered list. Let's see the example to get clarity on that. Yes, here is the example of order list and unordered list. Here you can see unordered list. Uh, UL means uh, uh, order list. Unordered list uh, which, which have LI means list items. We can have a coffee, tea, a milk here. An order list will be OL. Uh, using OL tag, we have to uh, give an order list. In that list element will be same elements, coffee, tea, co milk. You can see here by using dot symbol, we have given this list and uh, in ordered HTML list, we have given a numbers. We don't give numbers, it automatically comes because we are using a OL tag, which is an ordered list tag. Uh, let's understand what is meant by an ordered list uh, briefly. An unordered list uh, starts with a UL tag. By using UL tag, we can uh, uh, make an unordered list of HTML. So each list item starts with li tag. Uh, to specify the list items in that list, we have to use this li tag, which is called as list items. The list items will be marked with the bullets or small black circles by default. Here we doesn't get numbers. So in an order list, we will get a bullets like a small circle, black circles we will get by default. Here is the example, only an unordered list example you can see here. You, we are using unordered list, a UL tag, a closing tag and open tag of UL. In that, we have to specify the list items, which is by using LI tag. We have coffee, tea, milk. We can see a small black dot will be there like bullets. So this is the unordered list we can observe here. Is a simple example of an order list. We can make it as in complex examples also as your requirements. Next one is the order list which we have a OL tag which is an order list tag starts with OL tag. In this tag open and close OL tags we have to specify the list items by using LI tag. The list items will be marked with numbers by default. We didn't give any numbers by default it will be marked as a numbers. See this example you can understand clearly. See this is the an order list. Uh, uh, we have using by OL tag. In that OL tag, we have a list item tag is coffee, tea, and milk. You can see by default we are getting numbers here one, two, three numbers. See, you can observe here like one, two, three members. In the OL tag, we have given list items. The first example is both the unordered HTML list and unordered HTML list. You can uh, observe clearly by each and every tag in a, another example like this. So up to now we have seen this. This HTML description list also there. We can see here. HTML also support description list also HTML can support. A description list is a list of terms or list of each term. Like we can see uh, we have subheadings. We can see uh, in subheadings we have a description something like that. If the time of that things we can use this DL tag. DL tag defines the description list. What type of description do you are going to add in that list? So that description list we can have by using DL tag and DT means tag defines a term or name or uh, what term it defines like DT and DT is the tag descript describes each term. 
uh, what is what the uh, term describes like uh, what the content it describes like that you can see this example and get the clarity on that we have using dl tag and dt tag and dd tag which the dl is the description list we have given description list in that description list we have to give a uh, dt and dd tags dt is nothing but description uh, title and uh, description data i means what title you want to give a coffee title uh, for in that we have to give the data like a black hot drink like you can see uh, in the order list and order list is different a little bit uh, different in contrast to that uh, html list we have a description list also in that description list we have a dt tag and dd tag uh, dt tag is nothing but description title and dd is the description data you can include for that the particular title like you can see this example you can understand that example so this is the description list you have dl tag dt tag and dd tag understand the differences between those tags and use them accordingly so up to now we have seen a ul ol uh, li tag and dl tag dt tag and dd tag uh, let's understand each of this for clear understanding of that let's see briefly about uh, an order list an order list is used by using ul tag uh, in it, in that we have li tag and everything uh by default it will give a, uh, a red color bullet and a dark small circle by default uh, we can also make it as a different stylings also we can give style like list style type uh, by using this list style type property we can uh, uh, specify what type of uh, uh, marker we want uh, that, that is we can choose our list item uh, marker which type of uh, list markers do you want to need in this on order list for uh, for disk uh, Uh, if you if you give the property of st a list style type of property for that property you can define different values like disk circle square none for the disk is the default we can see a dark bullet like uh, circles we can get by circle we will get list of markers to a circle and next square we will get a list of items marker to a square and none means the list will not be marked none is also there option you can see this see this example to understand here i am giving the disk type so i am getting this can i i can change this as circle let's observe what the difference and how will output look like you can see the circle small circles has came here and i can give here a square value for this uh, list square type property i am giving square and you can see small square boxes has came and next we can also give as none uh, that is no type of marker will be present just is like a list like we can see so by this we can uh, write anything like this is the default one you can observe so try different examples according to your needs and uh, uh, how good will your website will be and next you can see uh, circle as we uh, see in the example square and none so that is all about this an order list we can give a different styling to the list and we can also have a nested html elements like in one uh, one list we can also add and many other list let's try this example to understand it. how the nested will works so you can see i have my order list of uh, an order list of li code coffee and tea and in that tea i am having different types list like uh, uh, an order list of uh, black tea and green tea so you can observe here uh, i am getting these things uh, the order list uh, has uh, marker has inside list is uh, listed in in one list we have listed and the list you can observe here the output will look like this the marker will change accordingly contrast to that in the previous list so this is called as nested list li uh, can be a new list and other html means like images links and also we can use this li horizontal list with ss you can also give an horizontal list by using the styling properties which we have like you can see this example uh, get a clear understanding on that like i am see i have given a list which are uh, in a horizontal way how we can do this by using this styling properties by using this order list li only we have given h difference and everything uh, by using those tags uh, those ids we have given here i'm giving li uh, tags a float left that is meant by floating a uh, list will be floating to the left and li will display in a block and color will be the text will be the white and the text align is the center and padding of 16 pixel for each uh, one and text decoration is none that is nothing but, but uh, no underline for uh, these things and background color and when you hover means uh, when we uh, touch on that it will have to be in a black color like you can see i'm defining these things list style type is none 
uh, then it will uh, nothing will be displayed like a uh, circle square and nothing none means no uh, marker will be there for those uh, list items so likewise we can make this as a float items in the horizontally so this is one type of list uh, accordingly we can design as our requirements uh, in this order list we have seen ul tag and list style type and uli list items and next floating to make a horizontal list we have a float to, uh, to property with the value of left we can make the list as horizontal and next uh, let's see uh, about the order list which we have uh, by using ol tag which is order list tag in that we have a list items tag li so we can make that order list uh, uh, we can also make this as a not only numbers but also different things like uh, uh, type by using the type app attribute we can uh, change the type uh, list items will be uh, default uh, will be a number type you can uh, see in the previous example right uh, by default it is a number type and we can also make it as a type as alphabetter like upper case also we can make and uh, uh, lower case letters also we can make and we can make as an uh, upper case roman numbers also we can give and lower case roman numbers also we can give like see different examples are there you can observe like type i am giving one then it will be a one two three then uh, next i am giving a lower case as uh, a uppercase letters are type is equal type attribute is equal to a value then it will be uppercase letters or lowercase letters then i am typing type is equal to giving i am a lowercase letter a and uppercase roman means type is equal to roman one and uppercase and next lowercase roman i am giving let's see this example for clear understanding of that less i am giving one two three i am getting order list and i can also give roman number of capital i you can also one two three we will get like you can observe here and next we can also give a capital a so capital a b c like order will become or we can also give a small a here then you will get a small a b c or by default we will get numbers there so likewise you can change the order list by using this type attribute uh, for the ol tag and next we can call control the counting like uh, uh, from where you have to count not only first from the starting one they take default starting from the one but you can also start counting from a specified number by using the start attribute if you can specify the starting number by using the start attribute the counting or ordering takes pl place from that element so i am giving start as 50 so coffee you can see from 50 51 52 they have given and next world tag i am giving a type of a uh, a uh, type of alphabet uh, i mean roman number of capital roman number and i start i am giving as a 50 then how it will be you can see here so uh, roman numbers uh, 50 from a uh, type of roman numbers of 50 they start 50 51 52 you can see here for 50 a uh, roman number is l 51 52 you can observe here like this you can specify the type and also give the starting a uh, number of that so that things will go on so it is also an important uh, uh, added advantage is by using this HTML list. And we can also have nested lists uh, as similarly we have uh, for an order list. We can also have it is in the order list also. Like an observing for the coffee tea it is a normal order list. In that uh, tea list we have given an order, order list of uh, another list like uh, black tea and green tea. Different types of teas in that tea. Next. Um, not only the HTML elements with the new list, but also it will be an images a link as seen previously. And next to order list, we have seen type attribute and we have seen and we have seen a, a start attribute also and the list items uh, like uh, we can uh, consist in this. And we have an, uh, another list uh, other than this order list and order list. We have another list called as we have seen description list called. We have three tags in this. The important tags are DL, which is nothing but description list. And next DT is nothing but uh, the term or title we can say. And DT is the data or description the tag dis describes each term. So this is the example which I have seen uh, previously. Understand the difference between DT and DT and DT. DT and dd and make use of it in your websites to make the attractive pages likewise so these are all about a uh, list like order list and order list uh, li list items and description list description uh, terms and description uh, uh, tags and data so this is all about html list i think everyone is clear with this html list uh list and uh, have, if you have any doubts regarding to this html list or uh, or uh, any basic things about HTML, you can feel free to comment in the comment section. Uh, we will definitely reply to your comments. And uh, if you like this video, give a big thumbs up below. And uh, uh, if you have uh, any uh, 
suggestions you can suggest us in the comment section so that we will improve our uh, teaching process and uh, if your friends are in search of these uh, web developer sites uh, suggest this website and suggest our videos to learn effectively and with a simple english and they can understand us easily so they help us to uh, build their uh, easy understanding according to uh, the things which they don't understand they can understand by using our uh, help or uh, explanation we can say so that's all for today and subscribe to my channel for many more videos like this stay tuned thanks for watching bye bye